Alrighty guys, so how's it going today? So today is Sunday. Uh, I don't can't remember what the day is. I think it's the thirteenth. Well, uh, it'll be in the, the and it'll be in the, the uh, description for you. So as you guys have seen, uh, part one of the <coughs> Redneck GoPro mount video thing was up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, part two is ready to go up today too, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Ah. Uh, just because I want to talk to you guys about something that happened last night, and I just thought, you know, it was, uh, yeah, it probably wasn't, it probably wasn't really worth sharing, but I figured it might as kind of well. <clears throat> um, so I was, uh, see, I think I got done, I was editing some videos last night, I kind of did some more today, I'm actually working on part th three, I think that's going to be, three or four parts of that GoPro mount video and then there'll be uh, <clears throat> another video we have me actually uh, of me actually using the GoPro I actually did watch the video <clears throat> I wasn't sure if the GoPro vid would turn out right but it turned out fine so I'm not gonna worry about it but uh, after I got done editing see I think I was done by Maybe by 10 p.m. at night. Kind of late. <clears throat> so I started settling down for the night. You know, I figured, well, I'm not going to bother editing any more videos because once it gets to be like one or two hours before bedtime, it's, you know, then you're pushing hard to get editing done. So I tried to quit. I tried to stop editing a couple hours, you know, before bedtime, right? Look at all the snow that's disappeared. Wow. It's not much for snow left, boys. <clears throat> As you can see, it's pretty windy again today. Um, look at all the birds. Holy shit. Holy crap. Damn. But anyways, last night, see, I went to bed around midnight. Typical thing, you know, I do. And, uh, I, you know, I slept pretty good and everything. And by, uh, what was it, by 3 o'clock in the morning, my house started shaking again, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. The winds got absolutely fucking nuts. She was pretty, pretty bad last night. It, it, it had to have been pushing 60 or 70 miles on hour winds, if not more. It actually sounded like, uh, kind of like, almost like winter again. Um, the winds were just steady. Right now, they're kind of steady too. As you see, you can go, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but you guys can see how the trees keep moving. Um, <clears throat> so I think we're getting more of the, of the same today, too, it looks like. But see how it just keeps blowing? It doesn't, like, take a break or anything. And if you listen way up there, you can really hear it blowing. Down here, it kind of quits because of the trees, but way up there. See, now it's, down here, it's settled, the wind. But you can still hear it way up there on top of the trees blowing across right well that's what it was doing kind of last night too but it was blowing more on the ground too a little bit like you know down low kind of and uh, but it was like it was like a steady wind though it was just like a like a freaking tornado was coming you know it's freaking insane but that uh, we were due for a wind advisory and boy did we ever fucking get it let me tell you and then uh, around four o'clock in the morning the power went out we lost power. So, I was like, well, damn it, I didn't have, you know, I don't have a, a flashlight or anything near me or any kind of lights or anything. Um, but I know, you know, how, you know, how my house is shaped inside, so I managed to walk my way over. Even though it's pitch black in my bedroom, I managed to wobble myself over to my cell phone. I turned my cell phone on. That gave, that gave me a little light, so. Because I, I don't have any flashlights in my room that work. All mine are junk. <clears throat> and my mom had a red flashlight. It was actually like the color red, and, and even the LED lights were red. Um, she said that wouldn't turn on for her. So, and she just went and turned her cell phone on too. Well, her newer cell phone actually has a. She has to. Well, she can't find it now, but it actually has a flashlight app thing built into it, and she couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. So. 
But, uh, but you know, then, then my mom managed to go out and to the kitchen, and she found another flashlight out there. I just used my cell phone, even though my cell phone kind of kept turning itself off, but that's just that hibernate mode thing, you know. But we were out of power for quite a few hours. Um, from 4 o'clock in the morning, I think to probably about 7 or 8 in the morning. So if we were out of power for a wee while, um, <clears throat> I kind of managed to uh, fall back asleep again. It's just uh, I'm used to sleeping with actually like a fan on. I can't sleep without anything really. But I guess the winds outside just finally just put me to sleep. That's all. That's all. All I was listening to was the wind outside. That's all you could freaking hear. So, no shit. So, <clears throat> yeah. What the arch? So, yeah, it was, it was definitely kind of sucking. I think we were out of power for a few hours. I'm not sure how long it was. It was from 4 o'clock in the morning to about 7 or 8 in the morning. So, only a few hours. But let me tell you guys, I really do wish we had a generator. Because, actually, the time... I don't know, you know, seven or eight come, the power had come back on. Um, of course, then the fans started roaring in, the heaters kicked back in, but you could tell it was definitely getting cold in there, in the house. Um, even though I had, I had three blankets on me. Um, the My main blanket, I guess, you know, it's kind of thin, but it's good for the summertime, but not too good for the winter. So I had three blankets on me last night, and I actually stayed pretty comfortable. It stayed nice and warm when I'm under my blankets, so I didn't really get cold or anything. So my mom, she, she's got a pretty thick blanket, so she wasn't complaining about the cold or anything. We were, we were fine until power come back on, but... <clears throat> See, now we're getting these high winds again. And, you know, then the power could get cut off again. So... But I've been looking at generators. I've been kind of thinking about maybe trying to get one sometime. Um, man, they're a lot of money. I'm only looking for a small one. I don't want a super huge son of a bitch. Um, I've been looking at one that was 2200 watts. Not a super big guy. Um, well, we could use a bigger one too, but I'm not willing to pay a lot of money for it. So This one's on... on Northern Tool, that's a power horse, 2200 watt generator. Um, runs on gasoline and oil. Well, you've got to put the oil like in the motor kind of do you know. And I'm, I'm actually pretty shocked on how it can run. It only holds four, I think four or four and a half gallons of fuel, gasoline. And it can run for ten and a half hours on four and a half gallons of fuel. That's pretty good. I've seen better, but you know that's pretty good for a 2200 watt generator. I I think we'd be okay with that. And and that's at um to run at ten and a half hours. That's at half load. I don't know what it would be at full load. I suppose probably like five hours. I don't know. It depends on how much load you put it put it under. Um, we just want you know. <clears throat> To be able to run a, um, a few things. I'm looking at a, at a generator that has four outlets in it. The ones I've been looking at only have two. A two really won't be enough. Um, there's one, you know, if you get the generator with just two outlets in it, and they're both like 120 volt, 20 amp, you know, breaker and everything on it. <clears throat> um, see, there we would only be able to run a heater and something else which since flood flood season is going to be coming around again um we might get like another flash flood kind of dewy and then it happened last year a couple years ago we lost power and the basement went underwater and we didn't have a generator to keep the pump running so so for that kind of emergencies we'd have to be able to run say like a heater and the sub pump or the sub pump and the you know then the fridge or just general stuff. We don't need to run the whole entire house. Um, 
to me, the main things would just be the fridge and the sub pump for the basement. That's the only two things I really care about because, I, for one, I don't want to have to turn around and buy more food. And two, I don't want my basement going underwater again. That would really suck because that, when that, you know, we had about about this much water, if not more, in the basement um, a couple years ago. A few, you know, a few inches. Not too bad, but it kept going up <clears throat> for a while. And there we were, we were out of power for a few hours again. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that, but I mean, it definitely does suck not having a generator. Um, I think it's kind of important that we do have a generator, but you know, the smallest one I've seen. I've been looking on, on eBay too. There's some decent ones on eBay, but they're there they're still you know asking too much. <clears throat> I looked at used generators. I was thinking about getting a used one. There, it's the same as a brand new one. So I might as well turn around and go go get me a brand new one for that price. You know, I mean, <clears throat> I think it was a 2200 watt generator. They go for on eBay and on Northern Tool. They go for about 300 to 500 dollars, depending on wattage and stuff and whatever crap you need, right? <clears throat> and uh, it's both the same on eBay too. So the prices and <clears throat> I don't know. And then I looked at the one on Northern Tool, um, the Power Horse one I was looking at. Uh, I think that one had. Well, yeah, it was for standard shipping. It was sixty dollars. I'm like, holy shit, you're kidding. And then there, at the, the other one that I was looking at was an orange and black one. A little more money, but it had free shipping. And, of course, there's some on eBay, too, that have free shipping. So I've been kind of checking those out. But most of them are bidding. I don't know why the hell you want to bid. I just want to buy right now, you know. I don't want to bid. I don't want to bid on the damn thing. So, look at this wind. It wasn't that bad earlier, but she's picking up again. And I'm surprised that I did not lose any trees. Um, just a few small branches, like that one that's right there. I think that one's always been there, though, I think. I don't know, there's a few other ones in the yard that fell down. Just little guys, like those, you know. So, nothing too big. Nothing that more can't chop up, but... When you get into those big guys, like what's over there, you got to pick those up. Might as well just ruin the blades. I mean, you probably could chop them up, too, but that's hard on the blades. I don't want to do that kind, so... <clears throat> But, it definitely kind of sucks not having a generator. Um, I know Savage no has gone through it. He, his generator blew up in his face too, which I know it kind of sucks, but... <clears throat> I mean, it would... It's, you know, it's a good investment to do, but then, you, you know, it's a lot of money. So... This is what it was doing last night, but like ten times worse. And yeah, we lost power. I don't know if the power, the main power line broke here in town or if it broke. It probably broke out in the country because that's where, you know, where it's wide open. Because, you know, all the fields. So it probably broke there, I bet. But, ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's only like 25 out or something today, almost 30. So it's just a bit chilly. Again. It fucking sucks, but what can you do? I mean, I just, I don't know why this is happening. So, so there won't be no uh, part two of the GoPro video. That'll be up tomorrow. This will be today's video. You know, it's kind of late. Um, try to keep it short and it'll upload quicker for me. <clears throat> so, I was hoping to get some, uh, get some parts for this here Dirt Devil. Which I don't know if I'll probably even do now because I forgot taxes is coming up. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get everything for that I want for the air compressor. I don't know what everything's going to cost me. So, if everything's a lot of money, I'm going to have to just get one thing done and then do the other one next month, I guess. I don't like working that way, but what can you do? So, <clears throat> yeah, and I ditched the weights for Big Red. Those are, those are his weights right there. I don't think we need them anymore. I did take the plow back with me just in case I should need it. Just in case we get like another one inch of snow or a foot of snow, then I'll be ready for that. But I'm thinking probably at the end of this month or next month for sure, 
I probably won't need to plow anymore. There's a squirrel. So, but we'll see. We'll, we'll just hang on to the plow for now. But, I, you know, like I said, I ditched the weights. I don't think we need those weights anymore. So, so yeah. Definitely kind of sucks. Um, like I said, I've been looking for a good generator. Uh, I wanted to get a... A really good one for Northern Tool. I think it's a North Star or something like that. I seem to, I like those generators a lot more, but they're a lot of money. Um, it'd be okay, I guess, if I wanted to run the whole entire house on that setup. But I don't. I don't really have to right now. Maybe later on I can. But even for the really tiny generators, excuse me, that have only like one or two plugins, they're still four or five hundred bucks. Like unbelievable. And they're only like like not even a one horsepower generator, you know, and the one I was looking at, I think it was like a 5 or a 10 horsepower generator, so makes 2200 watts, 1800 I think, if it's under, under max, but like, actually got to keep sucking that, that amount of wattage out, but she'll do 2000 or 2200, I guess, I don't know, it was, it was either one that generator could do. And the ones on eBay, while well, they were okay too, I was looking at some, you know, the cheapest ones I could find were 370 bucks. Um, I can't. You can find other ones for for less, but they're not the kind that I want. They're not the right. Um, the wattage is, is fine, but the the outlets is not enough. I need at least four outlets. Um, you know, I probably only need two, but you know, the thing is, I want two for backup, just in case in case I need to run something else. So if I actually need to run the shot back too, I could run my new shot back. I gotta get a new one. I'm gonna try to get a new one on payday. Um, I didn't get one this month, but I'll try to get one on payday because we're gonna need one. So, um, I know one thing is um, Savage and Morse that I could use this cord. I'm gonna probably cut that off, and then when I do get a new generator, if I get a generator, I'll probably use that for part of it. Um, like as you know, as an as an extension cord, I'm gonna have to get some. Probably gonna need probably a couple hundred feet. Um, you know, probably even like 400 feet, but they'll be, you know, separate things. Um, cause I know what I want to do with the sub pump one. I'm just gonna run that one kind of like on the ceiling, down in the basement, cause you can't just lay it on the floor because the basement goes under underwater sometimes. So it's gotta be hung over overhead. And I'm just going to put it like on the stairs there, so then if it uh, starts to go under, I can go plug it into the uh, the pump, and then I can run upstairs and plug her into the generator, and then we'll, you know then we'll be good. But I can't get a generator yet. I'm waiting for. Uh, I'm kind of hoping some maybe some more things on, on eBay will sell for me. Um, try to start. I'm going to try to maybe save up a little bit of money. And my mom's like, well, why invest in a four or five hundred dollar, you know, generator for if we're only going to use it probably once or twice a year? Well, I think I could also run my welder off that. I might do that a few times too if I really have to get into welding, because you know, it'll push out more than enough. I'm sure more than enough uh, power to run my uh, my welder too. So it's only 115 volt, 20 amp, so or higher, but so yeah. I got this extension cord too. I was gonna to probably just leave this back here, but if we ever have to, I could come and get this, I guess. But uh, I think I'm gonna just leave that in for the air compressor. It's this black cord that's on here is not long enough. So, but I got that yellow one plugged in, so we'll, we'll be fine on that. But so yeah, I figured I'd let you guys know that a little bit of bullshit. Um, you know, like I like I said, we lost power last night, and definitely started getting chilly and. But we had power back on by 8 or 7 anyway. Then I fell back to sleep and I didn't wake up until about 9 or 9.30. So I lost out on a couple hours of sleep and I'm still feeling okay. So but when, you know, when you sleep like a damn rock, what can you do, right? So your energy should rebuild pretty quick then. But So yeah. I should take this cord off too and use this as, a, as an extension cord, but it's for the light. And I might need this light someday, so I might try to do something different with that light there. Um, 
might just try to, I don't know, use it for something else, I guess, so, but anyways, I think I figured I'd let you guys know that, um, just wanted to let you guys know on that stuff, and stuff, so, but yeah, part two will be up tomorrow, and then part three will probably be up after that, and I think there won't be a part four, but that'll be, that'll actually be the playing around in the vid, it wasn't nothing too special, but a little bit for you, so, that's all we're probably going to get for this year, then for playing in the snow. This stuff's melting pretty quick now, so wherever I drove the busted off, it, uh, it's pretty well melted gone now. There's a little bit right there yet, but I went through that, but it's not gone yet, but she's starting, so. But she's cold and windy, boys, so I'm going to probably head her in. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that crap and stuff, so. I'll keep you guys updated on anything else that goes that happens and stuff, so. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching, Chaves. See you guys later.